Yo, remember Yo. back on the bully when cats used to harmonize like. That's what we do. Yeah. Make sure we in that vibe. Yo. We in that vibe today. Lower here. That's right. Make sure we in that vibe. How we feeling on this Monday morning? We feeling like. Hey. Can we not? Shout out to City Wall Radio. Shout out to Scott's Crusher Radio. Episode 40 fucking 7. Straight to the heart, out of the heart of the city. Can we not? We here. <laughs> That was nice. That was Mr. nice. See the finisher. <laughs> what? Wait, what? what? Wait. No. <laughs> no. 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 Edit no. that out. DJ Clue. <laughs> but that it's the Can We Not podcast, episode forty-seven. Me, your host Evan Combes, sitting here with my two co-hosts. We have Akai, aka I didn't think of a name for him this week. Hey, it's like <laughs> two weeks in a row. <laughs> and then we also have where we at? Salutations. Got our own button. Salutations. Nah, nah, nah. We remixing it up. We got a new button for him this week. DJ, sit like this. What the what fuck is this? this? What are you doing? What? What is that? Kenny J, say it like this. Kenny G, say it like this. Hey! Oh, oh that is a God. nickname I gave him. I yeah! Think. Kenny G. Exactly. But Kenny G, who is that? <laughs> hey, that nickname stuck. All right. It's sticking, bro, but we in here. Party Lamp is in the building. Shout out to Jade helping us out on the board. Thank help you. with the tone, helping us out with all the cameras. Shout Cams. out to everybody listening on iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud, wherever you're listening. Thank you. We appreciate you. Also, shout out to everybody watching us on YouTube. Cameras is on, cameras is on, cameras is on. All of our cameras is on. We are back in for another week of oh, so wrong. much. So much has happened this week. Last week was kind of slow. This week, group chats what? full of topics. That Doubled always ha- that always happens. Doubled like, up, like a slow news week, and then like as soon as we get off mic, boom, just like a tidal wave of topics. Mad shit happens. Too but much. I love the, it. The first thing and the most important thing that matters to me is mm-hmm. how are my two co-hosts doing? That's a lie. I know he's lying. I know he's lying. He does this every week, and That's he's like, "Yo, y'all week like was clockwork. whack. <laughs> like That's clockwork. just dumb. What y'all doing out here? Nothing. Whack." Why do we even bother having a podcast? No. <laughs> My week was great, bro. Thank you for asking. Us. No, don't think, don't think I ain't forget. I ain't forget last week. This nigga's well, so weird. Was... He's like, man, I just over there struggling. Work. What? Work. <laughs> Got you. Heard. Episode fifty. No. <laughs> Thank you, party lamp. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking the tension as always. Nah, it was a good week. It was a good week. Got Yo, to show with family. Speaking of party lamp. Party Lamp apparently has like he's gaining his own sort of followers and fans out here oh, yeah. from the podcast. Oh yeah, he is. <laughs> like, geez. Party hive. Exactly. <laughs> the, that the party lamp hive is no, gonna the get lamp away, hive. It's the lampshade. It's the lampshade. Yeah, the lampshade room. <laughs> 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 the lamp fucking shade room is back. But guys, um, what do you guys want to start off this week? So much has happened. Do you want to start off with the shide? Oh yeah, I saw okay. that this morning. You want to start off there because Jason Mitchell, they had like a couple of um, follow up stories. Lena yeah. Waithe, the creator of the show, The Shy, she did her um, radio interview with The Breakfast Club and she said she spoke on Jason Mitchell's recent, like the news coming out about him with all the sexual harassment and sexual misconduct on set and him being dropped from his um, from The Shy and his um, agency that he's tied to. And she Several said, uh, yeah, everything that he's a part of, he's been dropped from. And she came out and said, as the show creator, you know, she was aware of his behaviors in season one. One, mm-hmm. but like they kind of solved it internally or so she thought yeah so she like, was like hey okay like she brought good. everybody together like she addressed it we all talked about it she tried to solve it in-house mm-hmm. and then during the filming of season two her showrunner brought the news to her attention again like hey still happening and she was like yo let me handle it let me come in there and the showrunner told her no yeah. it's already pe- beyond your past like we got to take it to hr mm. so when they took it to hr they thought everything was handled there and then, you know, evidently it really wasn't because then he ended up getting kicked off the show. So she kind of says she kind of feels responsible. She says she shouldn't have let, you know, somebody else do her job. Yeah. And, you know, per se for that. It's like, you know, she feel like it's kind of ultimately her responsibility and she should have handled it. Right. But it's like, how do you really handle a situation like that when you kind of have the show centered around this character? So it almost seems like a cop out. This is one of those like you wrote him this big storyline for season two yeah. when you were already aware of his behaviors in season one. Yeah. It's kind of like, well, why didn't you kind of you know give him less, less, less yeah, less, less of impo- a story, less, less importance, less screen time. That way, yeah, just to be safe. Like, yeah, in case something it's like this still happens, kind of like, sad because it's like why are you rewarding him with more acting yeah. why opportunities? Are we even addressing it in this way and not actually looking at the the point that this person sexually assaulted 
someone on the show. Well, he didn't assault. Him. He was just no. inappropriate. Or, or it was inappropriate. Yeah, he was just inappropriate. And it's just like you you have to put them in uncomfortable situations. And it's just like it seems like that's like the case in Hollywood or like Tinseltown, whatever they would call it. Yeah. Tinseltown. <laughs> I mean, you know those. You know how those cats and jokers talk about it. <laughs> But it's just like big yo, cigars. Not, but like looking in the show, I was like, you know, looking back and surveying everything after, and just like, oh, how is the tension going to look now? Yeah. Even though it's sad to say, but you know, you want to look at it and you look at it it's through a, it's a different a big, lens, and it's like, mm. it's a big like distracting type of thing over like a, a really dark cloud ho- hovering over like the whole like the show now because it's like now every time I see him in a scene with Tiffany Boone the person Bam. Who, who, yeah. this week's episode what, yeah. Yeah. it was the scene with them two on the couch and I was like you get away from her <laughs> <laughs> you get out of here this isn't it's a like, safe space there's like a part where like they kissed and I was like that wasn't in the script get out of here <laughs> <laughs> you nasty motherfucker when he proposed I was like mm. yeah. and just the look that she gave him and it's like mm. you get to, you get to now you can't help but watch and think about exactly. was he inappropriate and how comfortable was Tiffany Boone's character. Exactly. That's all I was looking at the no, entire time. I was I was I was thinking like every time they had a scene together, like I was I was wondering like, damn, were there other scenes with them together that they had to cut out because she just was not comfortable with like doing certain things with them, like if they had any like sex scenes together in like the past like this is what, episode eight that just aired? They better like, not. Like nah. No, like like it's been like eight episodes I don't in this any season. Pot yeah, belly you gonna sex. die in this. There's no pot belly sex gonna forward that storyline <laughs> at all. It's gonna I'm, stop at the belly. Ew. This, this pot stops here. Man, there's one scene he's just rubbing his head. <laughs> he's just, that's like his most like like his most. That's acting. his character trait. That's nah, his character after trait. This, after that's this it. past episode, I want to shoot everybody up on that set because I was like, yo, this Why? is a lot of terrible acting. Why? The kid was dancing. He's terrible. Oh, yo, nah, that was just him looking like... so conflicted about oh, so much going on with the drug money and the truck and my dreams and my girl. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Scratch his back of his head oh. <laughs> in confusion. Right. Like that's the that's that's the acting you're gonna give me. That's the performance you're gonna give me. Man, honestly, they should have just kicked the nigga. Over. All the best acting came from the drug dealers on that show. That's I, <laughs> all I was, the I, best acting comes from the drug dealers. That's why when you asked me the question about who was the best scene, yeah, and that was the scene between the two drug dealers. Oh, that and, um, was the what, best scene in the episode. Sit-down. Yes, yeah, oh, the sit down. Yeah. Oh, the sit down. Yes, yeah. oh. we were telling him like, "Yo, your man's robbed yeah. us." Yeah, you, no, your man's like did yeah. some disciplinary stuff mm. on the street that helps run of my man's, and mm. now we need to retaliate. We need to do something. We got to handle that. So oh, yeah, that I, I'll, I'll give it that. He's like, but, we got to handle that, and he was just like, well, you got to understand, my man's that handled that. He has a little brother at home without no parent. Like, mm-hmm. I, like the the weight of how he understood. He's not just the kingpin. He really understood the community. Yeah. So it was one of those like, I'm not just like pushing money. Like I actually am trying to uplift the community yeah. and help. I just exactly. have my hand tied in everything. Even when he was talking That's to Jason what, Mitchell. Mm-hmm. That was something that was like, you know, like the dynamic. I was like, fuck. I love that about the shot where it's just like there'll be all these underlying Uh, situations, layers of stuff. But like they'll get back to the root of it. It's like this is a community that, you know, people are trying to do different things. They're trying to make things work. But just the way he was breaking it down to Jason, he was like, yo, like, just look at it. A brick and mortar restaurant. You set it up. You it could be yep, called right Pop Bellies, yep. whatever. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking. He didn't like, say oh, that. Yeah, he hey, didn't listen, say that. It might have. It might have. It crossed Ad-lib. his mind. It crossed Ad-lib. his mind. Yeah. It crossed his mind. <laughs> it crossed his you mind. adding that in? It crossed my mind. <laughs> you writing scripts? <laughs> listen, I could be. Show writers, hire him. <laughs> <laughs> Next season, <laughs> it's just fucking this nigga. Exactly. Executive hey, producer. Hey, of no, he got I a full truck. He got a music truck. <laughs> Not a music podcast. But not at all. That's what I'm gonna call it. That's what I'm gonna call it. <laughs> no, nah, but like you know, he's just breaking it down, giving them game about everything, and it's just like, hey, listen, we were like, you know, dope niggas, but we sitting there trying to change up. Yeah, and it, that's I mean, that's why do. the show is great. It made it yeah. makes me, the show is so great that it invokes frustration out of me. Like, oh damn, yeah. I hate that the hood is like this. Like, like, ah, like this, does I understand like, it? I can relate. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's, it's so relatable that it's frustrating. And yeah. as a showrunner, that's a, that's a very good element mm-hmm. to have in a mm-hmm. show. So if you aren't watching the show, you should watch the fucking show because we keep talking about it. Yeah, and I'm tired of talking about it if y'all niggas ain't even watching the <laughs> yeah. shit. But they should just kick that and go off. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, definitely. Let's, 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 his character needs to go to jail. Just, go, just, just take I, him off. I, well, as soon as it would have happened, just take him off. That's why. How I would do. you like to see his character arc in? I would. I since now that him and um, Jerrica are engaged, I see. I see him. I see them getting pregnant, and mm. then like, uh, like, 
a gang related gang related shootout happens at the food truck and he dies, like mm. in the truck. Damn, you just got pregnancy to gang related violence. I don't know how you <laughs> jumped there. No, that's, I, that's that's something that could happen though. That's something that can unfortunately happen. That's why I was thinking about. Of course, I, I thought he was gonna like tell me a whole story. <laughs> he just no. said, "Yo, he gonna fuck her one time and, and she gonna get pregnant." <laughs> Bap, he gonna bust in her. They gonna bust in him. For <laughs> well, the one time, <laughs> boo, get the, <laughs> boo, get the fuck out of here. How do you see his um story arc ending, Akai? I feel like he could just um literally just have everything going right, and then just that one little thing just goes wrong, and dude just shows up. Is like, yo, I'm here to collect. And that's oh, it. I already that's seen him. Get, I already see him getting framed. Either framed, well, yeah, because he was like trying to set up somebody. He's gonna, he's gonna get the, framed. That's what the, that's what the um the cops were trying the, to tell him. Yeah, yeah, and then no, and then in next in the next episode, she's like e- trying to gather even more information as to why like he like he's clearly doing something for the sixty third Street mob, even though before this episode he wasn't, and now it's like damn, now he knows. So like the the detective is trying to tell him like, yo, we're investigating you. For like the investigator came in that nigga's house and was like, "Oh, nigga, do you know <laughs> what this is?" <laughs> that was that nigga in the back of the car that one time. <laughs> came out like, "Oh, nigga, do you?" Know? <laughs> it's like, "Oh, nigga, do you?" Oh, 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 oh nigga, do you <laughs> know what this is? Yo, oh, I love this show. Yo. <laughs> I wonder when you could use that. Like, just a nigga just pulls up and is like, oh, nigga, do you know what? The, I, I bet bouncers use that shit all the time. <laughs> you want to get in? You want to get in here? Like, oh, nigga, do you <laughs> know what this is? <laughs> <laughs> Business casual. Um, no hats. Nigga. No hats. No cap. Um, I'm not taking on take my hat. hat. Take your hat <laughs> off. Take your hat off. It's <laughs> a dollar bill. <laughs> Take your hat off, boy. That's a dollar bill. <laughs> it's all in here, bro. It's all there. Yeah, it's exactly. all five. It's all in there, bro. Um, Iggy Azalea's news leak. Did we look at it? Oh yeah. I mean, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Let me, let me. <laughs> let me preface. Okay. Yes, I did see them. Yes, I did. I had to. Okay. Twitter is like right there, and it's just like it's the easiest thing. I granted, I just started Twitter, but. What's your, what's your Twitter handle? Don't worry about that. Big Red. <laughs> I'm not trying to get added there. <laughs> Big Red tweets. I'm just I'm just gonna. <laughs> Big I know Red what, tweets. <laughs> Big Red tweets. It's actually called Clifford. It's just Clifford, Clifford the Big Red tweet. <laughs> Clifford the Big Red meat. Whoa! <laughs> 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 Y'all know what this is. I'm trying to get my premium snaps up. Yo, add me. Big Red Triple X. That's B I G R E. Iggy Azalea's nudes. Three X's. Listen, I saw it only because leaked of photo pressure. shoot from was, GQ, which is like, what? How is it a leaked photo shoot? Them shits look mad high quality. Because it's from GQ. Yeah. Exactly. That's why I'm like, wait a minute. Those files it's not go leaked. through. Those it wasn't leaked. Those files Something's go coming through out. a lot of hands. hands. Yes. Hang on, hang on. Something's coming out. Cause she hasn't been active. She, she hasn't deleted been all her social media because of this. Yeah. This and is she like said, the I'm fourth suing or fifth anybody. time this person has done this. And she said, "I'm suing anybody who posted those pictures." She. This is the fourth or fifth time this has happened. Did you post those photos? Yes. You getting sued? <laughs> you you posted them? <laughs> yes, I did. Oh, nigga, do you? In my brain. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm just saying, this has been done. This is like the publicity stunts and all publicity stunts. She's already done it. It's whack. I get it. All right? She's going to drop some trash single or something right after that. She's going to come back like, oh, I'm stronger than this, that, whatever. I'm better than that. They ain't going to stop my hustle. They ain't going to stop my grind. What she's not coming back musically, bro. No. She's not. She's not going to come back musically. But I don't think she leaked. You, 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 wait, you trying to say that you think she's behind this? This happens all the time. This is why I don't care about this shit. <laughs> I looked at it. I was like, eh. It's like I don't care about this. Why? She she got leaked photos. Iggy Azalea. Nobody was checking for Iggy Azalea. Was I? No. You Were weren't. You? Yeah. <laughs> Who was? You, you were, was? But, but, no. <laughs> no. It seemed like everybody seemed there like was, there was. It was like a very big gallivanting like people behind this. Like they and it was like word of like she was gonna join Pornhub or something like that. I don't know yes. where that part came from. No, like por- just, like Pornhub apparently was Twitter like, ran like with it. offering a contract like, hey, if you wanna if you wanna make some money. Yeah, I don't understand where that came from, and people just it's, ran with it. Yeah, and I'm just like, what? But that's why I'm like, eh, 
All right. Let's I mean, not I make a big deal. I feel bad for her. I, she, didn't, she didn't want this to come out. She's like, yeah, she took those photos, but like, she probably like, all right, like, no, yeah, we're going to do this photo shoot, but like, you know, in tasteful thing, but let me take these other ones just for me. No, I think I read something like uh, those were like outtakes or something. Yeah, they yeah. were. But like, those are for her personally. Yeah. And, and like, it's from GQ. She said she trusted GQ because that's a trusted like um, photo place. I don't trust any magazine. So. <laughs> Fuck out of here. They, you want me to be naked? And you take pictures. So in high Sports Illustrated no. hit you up. They know. Hell no. Mm. All right. Big red meat is only for premium snap. <laughs> um, you gotta about- pay to see that. <laughs> 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 Ain't no outtakes getting leaked. Fifteen ninety nine a month. It's pay per view. You gotta That's pay for this, rates, man. What you talking about? Put the fucking Put mic the on. Exactly. <laughs> Say my rates right. Fifteen ninety nine. Low ball. Me Did anybody here. see Bow Wow snitching on all the IG? Hell models? no. Wait, how did he snitch on all IG models? Oh, wait, what? Wait, yeah. wait, what? The, wait a minute. First off, why I am think I taking t- Bow Bow's word? No, I think we talked about this in the group chat, but it feels like forever ago, but it was probably only like Monday or Tuesday. <laughs> I, I definitely didn't jump on and that I, one. I, I think I, I'm, I'm probably paraphrasing myself. I was like, yo, should we really be taking Bow Wow's word for this when he was the dude that was like front on the gram like, oh, I'm in a private jet and shit like that when he was really flying coach? I mean, he know he know a true scammer when he see one. He is a true scammer. He knows the hustle. He understands the hustle, and this is what he said: Bow Wow's words. From the desk, from the desk of I'm Shad Moss, yes. aka Bow Wow. <laughs> you ever notice how these IG models take more vacations than average? Like you ain't got no car, no home, but you in Dubai this week and Turks next week. Who be paying for this shit? And they never show the niggas who they on vacation with, trying to make it look like it's a girl's trip. Stop it! Ah, ah, ah. And then he said... <laughs> Shout out Gabe. Ah, ah, ah. Shout out Gabe. And then he said, plane tickets are 2K and up, plus food, plus hotel. We know y'all not paying for this shit. <laughs> Hell, you asked me to pay for an Uber to get you home. So I know... <laughs> I know you not busting 15 grand on no trip. Girls got it good. The fact that Bow Wow is sitting around pontificating about these IG models and what they're doing means that he needs to stop. What? He needs he needs to get back I to I personally his life. think he's a hero. We were just in a different spectrum about Bow Wow so you're taking bitch out to Applebee's and now we praise this nigga? Nah. Yes. Nah, 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 nah. We can't, we can't have it both, nah, nah, can't nah, have nah, it both ways. Nah. What do you mean he can't, can't have it both ways? Can't have both ways. He, he have he's both still ways. living the cheap life. He's not saying, yo... Y'all can't. He's like, yo, I know y'all are broke because y'all be with me. And I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> y'all with me in y'all, Applebee's. Y'all yes. with money. I was just with you. In the parking lot. Helping <laughs> helping you move your one couch around your living room. Because you ever see it. If you ever watch this now, they, you got, yo, they live rooms be mad spacious. It just be one couch and one TV sitting on the carpet. Not even <laughs> on a dresser or nothing. <laughs> it's lit. It's, it's lit. Bitch, what you do with all that space? Yeah, it'd be mad spacious. But so he know the drill. He know the life. And he's just calling it out like, yo, why y'all out there pretending? He doesn't like the cap on the app. He wants people to be authentic. And I applaud him for it. Cap on Is it the being app. authentic if you're doing some something along the lines of dirty macking in that way? He's not dirty macking like- on the dudes. It's only dirty macking if you're talking shit about the dudes. Yeah, but Ooh. so what is this? Because this is some kind of Ooh. dirty. He's telling these girls stop being fake because you're presenting a well, you you're presenting be, a false you don't need lifestyle to, be the person to this. To do that? To, I think he's doing it because he has a daughter and his daughter is very impressionable so, online. And he's seeing all these girls live a life that they know they're take not really the living. Take the phone from her. From his daughter? Yes, she's rich. <laughs> she don't need to know that. <laughs> I, I think she. she don't, I think she's aware. Wait a minute. <laughs> Actually, first off, that's Bow Wow's daughter. Yes, yes. she ain't rich. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Bow Wow ain't rich. You pocket watching. <laughs> this, why you count why you count this pocket? This is that's yeah, exactly man. why I'm like, why are we like talking about what they doing? You wanna if talk you about see... Blue's Clues new owner? Fuck no. out of here. No. Nah. Why not? Why you wanna talk about Blue Clues new owner? Cause that I'm done with it. The Asian Yo, he can sing. He can sing. I think yeah. that's why they put him on. He's yeah, he's talented. Yo, yeah, Blue Clues sing. about to be he lit. Nah. It's lit. Nah, I saw the it's preview. A, Did you watch the the, the yeah. super trailer? Yeah. No. The super you didn't watch the I'm super sorry. trailer for this, Blue's Clues? No. I Hang didn't. on. First off, there's first a super off, trailer man, for Blue's first Clues. First off, first off, where are you catching this? You you actually gonna sit down and watch this? I I might. It made Thank me want to have kids. 
No, no. The trailer is that good. No, nah, it's not. The trailer is that first good. First off, first Evan off, was, Evan. Evan wants to have kids. Hang on, Evan. How was your week? We didn't even ask. Yeah. Hang on. We didn't ask you how your week was. How was your week, Evan? Because this is a little bit of a, a development. <laughs> <laughs> he just stepped outside Monday morning. <laughs> Uh, gotta lace up. This shit. Gotta lace up. This ready? shit hit gotta every win. time. <laughs> ready to check, check me in, coach. I'm ready. This shit hit Put every time. Put me in the game, man. Oh, Alex Trebek. He's um his um cancer is shrunk by fifty percent. He's near hey. remission in his um cancer recovery. Hey, so shout out to Alex some Trebek. Applause. Shout out to yes. Alex Trebek. You know, for this for speedy recovery. Of course, Get back to the board. Stage four pancreatic cancer. That's hard. I know how hard it is. So mm-hmm. definitely do want to applaud him on that. Um. Also, Game of Thrones news: The star of Game of Thrones, Kit Harrington, checks into rehab for stress and alcohol. Damn. Akai, what's going? What's up with your boy? It's a stressful show, but it's that over. Akai of Thrones, what's up? That series finale was trash. That was that stressful. Damn. He was like, "Damn, numbers wasn't hitting for stress and alcohol." Yeah, of course. But, but it was a. It was a I was stressed. I, uh, yeah, I was. <laughs> Listen, first off, it's called an Irish coffee. Fuck you. Secondly, I don't. I I didn't really pay much attention to it other than knowing that those actors go through a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, Heath Ledger and everything, like Uh, Batman and everything. So, I mean, I would imagine, like, you're you're putting yourself into a character that's going through a lot of stress, so... I, I, that's crazy that he waited until the show to be over to be like, all right, now I can check in. But, but, (laughs) I mean, that's the case. You, You gotta... You know, it's you're held to a contract. You got to do what you got to do. There was one telling thing. I don't know if you saw the um the after the finale, the the week after that they showed no, I didn't the him um the special effects, yeah. not the special effects, like behind the scenes of the mm. season or oh, whatever. Of, of and then him they, reacting to the final killing. table read. Yeah, the table of read of him react- killing on um, Daenerys. Yeah. And the thing was, in that scene, he received that script three days prior to them reading it. So everybody else in the room read it besides him because mm. they all got it three days ahead, even him. But he didn't read it. So to me, that kind of stuck out that he didn't. Why didn't you read it? Yeah. Three days ahead and you want to wait to be at the table. Then the way he reacted emotionally kind of seemed like something off about that guy. Mm. So hopefully he gets a speedy recovery. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully Definitely. everything Definitely. works out well for him. But yeah. speaking of what uh, Akai was talking about with Heath Ledger and Batman, apparently. Uh, Robert Pattinson is going to be the new Batman. Uh, yeah. Like and there's there's no. a lot of. Why? Mix- yeah. No people don't want that. I don't it's want that. Late. What? Listen, all the Batman. I, just, they I don't chose. like Batman at all. So really, uh, yeah, Batman. You know, superpowers, white privilege. I don't care. Wow, <laughs> he's just a rich nigga with mad time on his hands. And why you only come out at night? Why don't you fight niggas in the daytime? That Square up with like me in the, the light. Opposite Shoot the Shad fair Moss. one. Shoot the fair one. That sounds like the opposite of Bow Well, well he always sneaks. On. He always does. Batman not always get to sneak on people. Yes. And does Batman all, all, never gets to sneak does on Batman everybody? Batman never the, jump into a fight until he's fully prepared and studied you, and he has he knows he has the upper hand. Batman never shoots the fair one. No, his superpower is sneaking you. <laughs> you gonna get snuck? Yeah, there it is. That's it. There. <laughs> so Robert Batson. All right, I cool. Mean, he trained with ninjas. Paid them. <laughs> 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 yeah, whatever. They ain't gonna find me. Yeah, they ain't I ain't stressed. Me. Exactly. <laughs> I ain't got no words. I, ain't got no I mean, words. well, to to circle back to Robert Pattinson being Batman, there was like a lot of like hesitation and like like criticism against uh, Ben Affleck becoming Batman. That yeah. is true, and it was and it wasn't good. No, no, no. Let's be fair. Batfleck. Yeah, Bat Ben Affleck as Batman wasn't bad. Ben Affleck as Batman in Justice League and um. Oh man, yes, uh, and um, Man versus Steel, uh, versus Batman versus Superman. Yeah, those were bad movies. That doesn't mean he was a bad Batman. Uh, to you, yeah. <laughs> listen, I'm sorry. I'm. He said it's very mixed. I'm. I'm coming from the era of Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. Nick, that, I'm in the same oh, era. Yeah, exactly. You. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but I'm, I'm just prefacing. Nigga, I'm from your era. Exactly. <laughs> We was here. George Clooney, nigga. We, we was, was we watched together. it together. Exactly. We, we watched those. George Clooney fight Jim Carrey together. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> and Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Could you say that better? <laughs> Yo, you just see the thing about Arnold Schwarzenegger? He oh, came how, out with a song? Yeah, to, he, pro- what? to, pro- to promote his next Terminator movie. I thought though. we just, were in a music yeah. podcast. Not a music podcast. I just talk about Terminator. It's a movie podcast. Hey. Oh, well, actually, we did, did you, Hey, speaking of Godzilla underscore kind of, did you see the new Godzilla no, movie? I didn't. Me neither. It's not online yet. Well, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't make your way to the theater yet. I yeah. mean, we could go see it. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's not in the theater yet. I got a free ticket. <laughs> it's lit after this podcast. It's lit. But um, I saw Aladdin. Um, oh, anybody no. else see Aladdin? No, I didn't want to even attempt to. Why not? What was your concern with the movie? My concern was that they're what? really trying to rush these Disney movies back to a live action audience. They're trying to get it to a newer generation, and it's not going to meet up to the expectations that everybody else has for it. Well, so. I can hear that. They tried to do their own thing. It didn't work. Yeah, see? I, I watched it. It didn't yeah. work. They tried to do their own thing, but the only problem is with all these live um, action adaptations of these animated movies is that it's very hard to compete with you know these big, giant concepts, and it's not animation. Mm-hmm. It's like almost like how... Um, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse was like the first animated Spider-Man movie yeah. and it did well because when you think about it Spider-Man could do such amazing feats you could probably play with that a lot better in animation mm-hmm. it's almost like with um, Avatar The Last Airbender it was so yes. great as an anime animated cartoon mm-hmm. and then once they brought it to the big screen it was like ooh <laughs> ew Speaking of which, the um, they're bringing it back for the last Airbender. They're doing a live action series on Netflix. Oh yeah, since I heard Disney's about that. like taking all their shit. Yeah. So Netflix is like trying to get some content. Yeah. I don't know how I feel they're gonna. About that, though. They're gonna make a live action yep. Avatar: Last Airbender series. Yeah. With is it with the the, the original the, creators? Yes, the original creators. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, mm, I don't know because live action. It could be, it'd be Listen, crazy. I, I already still got that trauma to get over with. Like I know, but you gotta understand that was made from somebody who had no idea, no hand. No. Yeah, and he, he only he only he did it because his his yeah, kids his, were they, fans they're of fans it. of the show, and he yeah. had no hands in the actual production of the show. He doesn't know the show now. The yeah. live action is actually coming from the people who created the show, so mm. it's a little bit more like, all right, I trust y'all. Yeah, because y'all, but... it, this is literally y'all baby. Yeah. So now I, I just want to know how much control they have over it because it is Netflix. They just gave them the money. Yeah. No, Netflix just threw them the money and they have to make it because oh. I think Netflix wanted it out earlier, but they're pushing it back to maybe later next ne- later or for something? next year. Oh, twenty twenty. Yeah, late twenty twenty. Yeah, okay. I can see that. that they wanted good, it out though. by summer twenty twenty, but they was like, nah, we need more time mm-hmm. to find the cast, mm-hmm. and they said maybe we can give y'all a trailer by summer. Of yeah, no, nah, I, I I'd be with that because if the, if they took time with it, because I didn't know that the creators were gonna be with it, but it seems like when they do this with a Netflix based show or like you know Netflix in general, well, uh, they're grasping at some, straws. Some of the Netflix original stuff is like some. is I that's why I said some some of it is some of it is really good like uh, F is for Family, BoJack Horseman, stuff like that. That yeah, all animated though. Black Mirror. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't watch Netflix. Ooh, get the no, fuck I, out yeah. of here. I, I, well, I, I, don't I, don't have, I don't have Netflix. I'm still with Monique. Oh, it's just me? It's just me. Lies. It's just me. Listen, man. I barely oh, nigga, watch it. <laughs> Hulu. <laughs> Oh, you going both sides? Oh, I get it. Where Set I get tripping. It. Yeah, I get exactly. it where I get it from. You gonna get whacked, bro? Not for nothing. Not for nothing. I'm, I'm probably gonna like if. If it's Disney, if it's the Disney streaming service, like and Hulu gets absorbed into that, I might get that and then just drop Netflix. Damn, are you paying for Netflix? Oh, nigga, do you <laughs> know what this is? Because if you not, just watch it, bro. Speaking yeah. of which, oh man, it's a couple other topics. Oh, so much I want to talk about this week. <laughs> <laughs> Mackenzie Bezos um, donates a big oh, portion of the you mean settlement. Half her shit. <laughs> it wasn't really half. She said a big part. Some some of the reports say half, but she it's said, honestly just a bigger portion. Anybody it's like, can it's say like what almost they half. Say. It's like almost half. So niggas just rounded it up. They say they donate. She donated half of it to charity. What charity? It said charity. As soon as no, I just did, saw charity, that's what how I knew. It's like nah, that's a fucking lie. Hey man, big money know how to move. Listen. They say this, yeah. they can say whatever they want. You're right. And it showed up on the shade room. Big money knows how to play the game. Well, shade room be posting everything. Exactly. I saw the shade room. It was like a Kai Ramsey does laundry <laughs> and he has dirty drawers. Crazy, dirty drawers. I was like, right. like. <laughs> <laughs> Share. Like I like this. I went Ooh. to my other group chat that you're not in. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, y'all see this? You see this? this nigga? Kenneth it's wow. Yo, this nigga. <laughs> Oh, nigga, do you? Oh, nigga, do you? Know what this is? <laughs> Yo, this nigga's Yo. really dying. Because <laughs> he knows it's true. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, viewer questions, if any. Because oh. I have mad other shit I want to talk about. I never. 
give out viewer questions. Ever since Me that whole, hey, I'm going to hit you up in your DM and just add you. What? Hey, a lot of stuff be happening. While he's looking up the viewer qu- Oh, you got him? Yep. All right, go ahead. All right, so <laughs> shout out to Gabe because he sent me like 11 of them. Well, we only want to answer two. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Gabe, I'm sorry. Are they all interesting questions? Yes. Oh, all on. right. Lightning round. Lightning right. round. So let's let's get this easy one out the way. Uh, when y'all gonna set party lamp up with a female lamp? Oh, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> First off, I'm gonna he. answer each question with a sound effect. <laughs> um, what other podcast do y'all listen to? Oh my god, they killed Kitty, <laughs> you bastard! What the fuck? You got that one too? Crazy. <laughs> Tone walks in with the camera. <laughs> you gotta walk in with another camera. Gotta make sure. Uh, I roll uh, with a crew of problematic bachelors, and we call ourselves the Squad. <laughs> I'm just answering the question, bro. Moving on. Next question. I don't listen to that. Next, one. <laughs> next question. Uh, next question. What's the most hours y'all will y'all will do for long distance with a chick? Like, I guess like. Travel wise? Oh, yeah. travel wise. Yeah. Bitch, if I can't drive me out, <laughs> if you not had a 20 minute drive. How far is Peru from here? <laughs> oh, nigga, do you know what this is? A map. <laughs> um, how long before you can hit up your ex after, hit your ex up after y'all break up to try to get back with her? Two hours after the breakup. Being a DM like. Hold on a minute, player. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what's a silly deal breaker for y'all to not wife a bitch? You sound like you're playing the victim here. <laughs> what's the deal breaker for us to not wife a chick? Yeah. The silliest one? The, a silly one, yeah. Doing yeah, foot shit. How petty I am? Feet. Anything with feet. I'm all against toxic femininity. I just don't. I'm know. against toxic feet. If she don't like watching TV with me. No, bitch. If she That's watch- hilarious. I, I would have her stay. I, I would have her stay. That's hilarious. I would just coach her through. It's like, don't watch anything with him. That's fucking hilarious. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's just sitting there alone. <laughs> then Hubert comes in. I'm oh, sorry. Hey, hold on, player. Change the channel. Hold on a minute, player. Change the channel. That nigga was over this morning. Why anyway. <laughs> And then the last one he sent, will y'all wife a chick with kids? I'm going to continue to come. Skip's been coming. He's going to continue to come. Now, Yo, wait now, a minute. Wait a minute. All right. I, I do want to know. know. Would you? I wait, know. wait. That's all a good right. question. I know. I that's know. a good question. Thanks, Gabe, for all these Thank questions. You, Gabe. Yes, yes. Gabe. Um, um, we have a, such a great launching point. So much on the. Uh, first, or is it, should I go first? I mean. Actually, wait, wait, wait a minute. Hey, Kenneth, you were doing all the, you know. Question hmm? reading. You, hmm? you want to go? You the ancient one? nigga personality of the podcast. Yeah, Gee, thanks. So yeah. play to that personality, not yeah, real life. N- yeah, no real life it, shit. It, it. No real no life. Really. All first verse. All first. Get so it. would I wipe? As would an wipe? ancient nigga personality, not real. Oh. <laughs> As the persona of an ancient nigga, no. speak uh, from that. I can't. I can't do that because I'm not an ancient nigga. Sorry. Sorry. I messed it up. Good job. Would I wipe? Would I wife a chick with kids? Yes. Okay. We've talked. We've, yes. we've, talk, we've talked. We've talked about this before. Yes. In, in, in a previous, previous video. videos yeah. before we recorded the but podcast, is like, and she is judging. Uh, Rightfully wow. so. Respectfully. Judge <laughs> 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 Judge him. Judge him. Like <laughs> short answer, Akai. <laughs> they I, were saying you were judging Kenneth. Wow. Because he wants yeah. to do something noble. What about you, Akai? Noble? That's the wrong N word. Nasty. So your so yours is a no. Oh, yes. Nigga, do you <laughs> know what this is? A no. Nah. I can appreciate your answer, Kenneth. Mm-hmm. And thankfully we don't have to all be in the same boat. Because I am in the Akai boat. Hmm. With the no crew. Wow. You're not crazy for your answer. That's you're just not, for me. You're not you're not crazy for your answer. Party Lamp, what about you, bro? It's lit. Damn. Crazy. <laughs> what do y'all think Party Lamp said? <laughs> <laughs> he said it's lit, but you obviously heard this nigga. Did you hear him? Nigga said he about to give a mad bulbs. <laughs> All the watts. 
70 <laughs> I'm back. I'm on fire today. I mean, I hey. Jokes is hitting. All my pieces is hitting. Though. Listen. Netflix. I'm here every call week. me up. <laughs> here every week. Heard Disney taking all y'all shit. Y'all need some content. Holla oh. at us. Oh. Oh. Can Holla we not go to Netflix? Holla at your boy. With any more um, viewer questions? Oh, um, who do we want to win the 2020 election and why? Yeah. Chill. <laughs> Who would act such <laughs> Politics. Oh, uh, 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 nigga, do you? Fine, I'll leave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we still didn't get clearance for that, man. Don't Shut up. <laughs> we can't. Don't need we it. We can't do this. Neither did she. I don't know all the candidates, and I'll leave my answer. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. I, yeah, I don't I'm know. uninformed. I don't know who's. I don't know. I don't know this ain't the podcast. Ru- I don't know who's running, and I don't know what their platforms are. So I'm running. Who's <laughs> home? <laughs> I'm running to a different country. Fuck that. I don't even know Ask if I'm gonna be to- in this country. I mean, shit. any other questions? No, sir. That's it. Cool. <laughs> now I can ask the real questions. <laughs> Ooh. Uh oh. He's he's twiddling his thumb and his fingers. Why are you doing that? Because I'm about weird. to ask something, man. Nasty. What the hell are you oh, doing? Because no. like, that's, that's uh, it's like I'm once re- every the nasty three. Thing? It's like once every three podcasts, we got to ask a sexual question. What are you doing oh with your God. hand, <laughs> rubbing boogers? <Please. laughs> Get into it. Get into it. Get into it. You nasty. Get into it. Boo! Get the fuck out! Oh shit, Jeez, guys! It's getting to that season. Uh oh, what season? Hot, weather's getting hot. Sundress season. Mm. Hot and heavy. Okay. You know, you might want. To see. It's also hot. It gets heavy with the ladies. Gotcha. You know, I just want to know what type of bag y'all get into when y'all with the ladies. What's the playlist bag? Oh. When you're in the bedroom. Oh. Oh. Who wants to jump on it first? <laughs> What's the vibe y'all setting? <laughs> y'all lighting any candles? I mean, nah, yeah. Nah, nah, nah. If it's if it's hot out, nah, chill. No. Nah. I'm, I'm not into. I'm not a candle person. Like any time of year. So, like. He but, just want that stank. <laughs> Close the door. You're letting the stank out. Nasty nigga. Go ahead. You talking? Nah. I'm just, what's you, the What's the playlist? I don't actually really play music while while I'm getting intimate. I just <laughs> getting intimate. Well, I'm not what? intimate. I'm into it. <laughs> and when you get into it, round of applause, baby. Make that ass clap. <laughs> but now, nah, what are you playing? <laughs> I see. I see what you're looking up. Do what you're doing. <laughs> walk me there. You see the joke. Now the walk me there. Take me to you the see. Curve. I'm trying to set so, up the alley oop, so, bro. So I am the I am the typical Netflix and chill fella here. And really? Yes. It's a classic move. It works. You can't blame him if it works. Listen, I'm sorry. If I'm shooting 100 from that move, guess what move I'm going to? The same damn thing. Yep. <laughs> if it works, it works. Post work. up left hook. <laughs> Post Malone. <laughs> Post me long. Yep. So, <laughs> so, so I'll Oh I'll go I get on the, the ill but I'll go <laughs> Oh I get the ill. So they got Kevin James just in the Whoa, back. Bro, bro. Oh, nigga, do you know what this is? What are you doing? I don't play yeah, Kevin dude. James. Listen, I yeah, go on Netflix. Who would do that? <laughs> I go on Netflix. Exactly. It's not me, it's him. It's not me, it's him. <laughs> Party lamp. Listen, listen this is this is the end of Into the Spider Verse. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Hey. So you go so, on Netflix and I'll, you put on background shows or movies. Yes. Yeah, a show that I don't like. I've seen like a million times. Like, I'll put on Friends. I don't know why. Something ne- about that theme song is turning you on. No, it's just like uh, I just no no no. You know it just drowns it just drowns out the sounds Kenneth, that I get I'm, it. No, I'll, you don't. I'll be there for you. You're nasty. I'll be there for you. You're nasty. I'll be there for you. This nigga getting in his bag. Get in your bag, King. Dick harder than a motherfucker. <laughs> what version is this? Oh, this different Wait, version? <laughs> Yo, I only listen to the Sunset Mix. <laughs> That's the only one I get down to. Can't do my thing without this one. That's the version with commercials. <laughs> Look Friends at will be back. <laughs> That's the WBLS version. Look at this rookie. WBLS version? Nah, nah, nigga, nah. 
back to WBLS <laughs> with friends. That's the Pix 11. <laughs> I only do UPN 9. <laughs> nah. That's don't funny. do that to UPN 9. Friends ain't never on UPN 9. All right. What bag are you getting in? Man, listen. The when bag the I'm getting over, in. How you setting the mood? Are you playing music for listen, them, Mr. Music Man? Listen, listen. You have to. They take off his shirt. He take off. He pull out the, the guitar. <laughs> no, I put my he, hands he start, up. He starts slow strumming. You put your hands up. After that. After I put well, my yeah. hands up, I'm like, girl, hang on. Wait here. I got something for you. You play some Let's D'Angelo play for him? Nah. You don't play no D'Angelo for him? No. So you're not asking them how it feels? Quincy Jones. Nah, you ask him how it feels, Quincy bro. Jones. Nah, Kai, don't. You ain't got listen, a lot of kick I could. Nigga. But if I did you that, hitting them with that, you know where it's going. You got. You. Let me light this candle. No, you can keep playing. No, because I don't want to <laughs> keep do talking. No, I don't want that. Damn. To take it oh, I trust you, but I don't trust you. Too. <laughs> I don't trust you too. <laughs> I trust the you. Algorithms. I can't yeah, trust. I them. trust you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean I, I do play like some throwback stuff. You know, some nice like instrumental stuff. Quincy Jones is good for that. You know, sets the mood, sets Prince? the timbre. I would have never. Prince, thought no, that. I can't play Prince. Why? Because that's a whole nother subject. Because he getting in a whole nother bag. That's a whole nother bag. It's Listen, a whole other bag. Summer's nice and all, but it gets hot. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry. I'm listening. Listen. I'm listening. Okay, summer sex. Whoa. What are what are our stances on this? Where, where Wait, we, we're not we're not done with I the know, playlist I, thing. The playlist, no, we are done. No, we're not, not Evan. <laughs> Evan. 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 No, I feel I feel like the stuff we get in the car from Evan. Don't say it like that. <laughs> Don't say it like that. <laughs> the stuff we get in the <laughs> the music that Evan plays while driving to the to the studio. I didn't play any music today. You do- yeah, I you know didn't you play didn't. Any music today. No, I didn't because yeah. we had a good conversation. But what are y'all trying to get at? Summer sex. So it's no, harder, no, it's no, harder no, than Evan, summer. No, and Evan. it's harder to get ma- move, Evan, maneuver around. No, Evan, I want to say Jamal it's harder. I asked the questions, right? God damn it! <laughs> damn, he's good. Damn, he's so good and gifted. No, I'm just saying, like summer sex, like mm-hmm. what are y'all saying is on it? Y'all, y'all, y'all doing this in the crib? AC on, AC off? What are you, what are you AC doing? on, yeah, For, I mean, and a fan, listen, yeah, listen, oh, both on high, <laughs> <laughs> both on high. You think I'm trying to? Are, hey, nothing, there any there's other nothing. Adjustments? There's nothing sexy about dripping sweat onto the person, <laughs> like in the See, no, yeah. That's you ever had somebody tell you you're sweaty? Yes, exactly. all the time. No, I mean, that like, happens to me all the time. I live with this. And for those of you that may not know. This is an ailment that I'm afflicted by. Yes. I thought it was just your palms. No, it's everything. I'm sweating right now. Yeah, you're natural. Well, it's hot yeah. today. No. This is me well, in me the too. winter in Far Rockaway. Negative 20. Yes. <laughs> Sitting down by the bay. But sweating. isn't it not? It's like it's like one of those, like, if somebody tells you that you're sweaty in the bedroom, I guess uh, you might be different because you live with that condition. Yes. For some regular people like me and Kenneth, it's like, damn. It's like somebody tell you yeah, sweaty, make like, you want to just. It's like, oh shit, never I feel mind. Bad. Yeah, it's I like, get my dick back. <laughs> <laughs> get that out your mouth. Come on, what? 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 Gee. What? It's you never said that. No, no, nobody's ever. It's just me and Party Lamp. I know Party Lamp said it. it it's lit. Jesus, it's Sunday. <laughs> Praise God. Not when people are listening. Uh, depends if the, what they're listening on. <laughs> Good God! Um, but go. yeah, summer sex is kind of crazy. It's like I said, the, the sweat is just makes you want to like. Ew. That's yeah. yeah that's like, why it'll slow up. Like if I'm if if it's getting too hot for me, then it's just like I'll I'll expedite the whole thing. Like uh, nope, and done. Expedite. Yes, I know. What you mean? I'll get. Re- he'll finish. Yeah. He'll do that special. Ain't wasted nut. I'm not That's wasting sweet. anything. I, mean, I, I nutted. Mean, I, know. <laughs> I, I, I savor the flavor. <laughs> I said what I said. I said what I said. I'm good. <laughs> Listen, I like what I see. No, uh, it's just one of those. You know, everybody got that one move or position that they go to when it's time to get out of there. Yeah. And he said, when it's when it's sweating, it's time to get to that move. But I mean, Boston like, crab. What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is a Boston crab? <laughs> I put it on the wall. <laughs> Nah. <laughs> that's, what, that's what it takes to get you nah, off. People's nah. elbow. That's what it takes to get you Ain't off. Ain't nobody doing no damn Boston crap. That sound like a whole host <laughs> of fucking STDs. Oh, well, bitch, but you in the Boston Oh, nigga, do you. Did she say that? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Yo, sweating and screaming. 
while a bitch got you in the Boston Crab singing out. Tony Ayo? It's fucking oh, nuts. Yo, this Yo, is. Shit. Yo. Yo, oh, niggas ain't shit. Yo. <laughs> Y'all know this. The Boston Crab <laughs> needs to be banned in all 51 states. <laughs> I think it is in some some wrestling stages. Jeez. Y'all, y'all remember that shit? Was it um Urban Dictionary? They sitting there did all those like weird ass sex oh moves or like they had all those names. Donkey just punch. mad weird. Yeah. Oh yeah, monkey palm, some shit like that. Yeah, all yeah. that weird shit. I'm like, I what? remember that because I was back when I was in school with Stefan back then, and he was like, "Yeah, I want to try that." Nigga. Like, wait, Ew. what? Wait, whoa, whoa. Ew. Nigga, I'm eating lunch. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> do that is a Stefan thing to do. <laughs> you don't bring that shit up in like the most. Nigga, I got my sloppy a, Joe in my no, mouth. This period, man. I'm trying to it. think about this U.S. government. Stefan man. brings that shit up like any given time. Like, word, bro. My uncle just died. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, okay, wait, dog. Hey, I want to try this shit. Nigga, nigga we're twelve. <laughs> Why are we talking about fucking bitches? Get out of here. I remember hearing some shit about was it you? You know that whole Dirty Sanchez thing. There was a clean oh. Sanchez, yeah. but there was a clean Sanchez. And the Cleveland Steamers. That, oh, jeez. I don't. No, that was from uh, How I Met Your Mother. Hang on. Hang on. I, no, wait a minute. Wait, One of those. No, 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 I was in school. Yeah. <laughs> I, heard about, I heard about that before, uh, How yeah. I Met Your Mother. <laughs> Stephon put me on. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> what are his rates? What are his rates? Because <laughs> I know he's wild. Instead of Stanley Steamer, <laughs> it's Stephon Steamer. The Stephon Steamer. Oh. Steph Steams. No. Yeah. Steamy Steph. No. I'm about no. To, no. <laughs> about nah. to call that nigga now. We oh, only. You, <laughs> <laughs> please go to the next thing. Go no. to the next thing. Just nah, call him up. He be like, "Hello, oh nigga, do you know what this?" It's Stefan. I'm back with that steamy shit. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Oh God! I peed myself. <laughs> <laughs> Step one does sound like Tony Ayo. <laughs> oh God! Oh God! We found it! Yo. We found it! Yo, nah, nah, nah. say word, say word. Now we, we the new G unit. We gonna do it. We the new G unit. We the G Stephon unit of podcast. Stefan is Tony Yayo. We the G unit of podcast. Got to, gotta be, gotta be. Gotta oh, be. who's Young Buck? Pod one hundred and one. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, Can we not? <coughs> oh, here we go. Oh, God. just in without time. Without, without, I had to come and get mine. That's right. Come and your mama. This bitch. <laughs> oh, Jimmy, do you <laughs> <laughs> know what this is? I don't like that album. <laughs> <laughs> Heard it? Trash. <laughs> Ew, put to it. Put to it. What is that? That's that, like that urban rhythm music? <laughs> I don't fuck with it. <laughs> Jungle music. Never heard of it. <laughs> Jungle beats. Don't holler at me. <laughs> They say this is a bit. <laughs> Fine, I'll leave. <laughs> <gasps> Yo! The top ten. <laughs> a Louisiana middle school principal resigns after he was arrested at a Washington, D.C. strip club while on a school field trip. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. I'm, wait. I, just, I discovered that story. I put it in the chat. Sources wait a minute. Say. Wait a Sources- minute. Yeah, you discovered it, but I'm the one with the premium staff. You are. Listen, you should just get a shirt, but I'm the one. <laughs> like, we haven't mentioned that in months. <laughs> this nigga be the only one. But I got I, it. I got to get my views up now. There's a following now. You bastards. There's a party lamp hive. There's not a big red hive. Hey, <laughs> I don't speak about it because I can't share it. It's illegal. Jimmy, but, go ahead with the story, bro. <laughs> middle school principal resigns after he was being arrested in the stri- at a strip club, <laughs> Washington, D.C., on a school trip. In you guys DC. ever been on a school trip and ever... Want to go off into your own little side adventures? Yeah. Actually, I have had that happen. It was in the city, too. Never again. Regalus the tail. Man, it was like a school trip. It was actually middle school. We were supposed to go see Phantom of the Opera. Went to the city. They took uh, some underprivileged kids <laughs> <laughs> to the city and said, hey, let's do this. Walked away. Should have never brought you niggas outside. <laughs> Listen, my friend Elijah wanted to buy a little globe. 
the dumbest decision I've ever seen. Two black boys in the city in like the early 2000s didn't know where the fuck they were going. We were lost. You got lost? We were lost. We literally stepped away. He goes to a stand. I'm like, wait a minute. We shouldn't do this. No, wait. What are you doing? You, I look you back. You the voice of reason? My white teacher's gone. Dropped out of school. <laughs> <laughs> I never passed. And that's why he lives in Far Rockaway. Exactly. To this day. <laughs> Walked all the way back from the city. Nah, that shit was crazy, though. It's just like, you know, you're a kid. You you don't want to see your buddy go away. You it's funny, because back in the early 2000s, they, they had those peepholes yeah. shows that you like put a quarter oh, in. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did y'all do that? I nah. did. Nah. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I'm nasty. There you go. It's like not a button for the <laughs> like what I feel right now. <laughs> oh, nigga, do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Nah, I don't know what that is. That's just nasty. I don't got nothing. It's not one. that. It. Yeah, they saw you on a school trip. Like she doesn't even go here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the wow. I got a lot. I got a lot of shit going. Man. But the full scoop on the story is, <laughs> a Catholic school principal from Louisiana had Damn. to resign after he was arrested while visiting a Washington D.C. strip club during a school field trip. I'm sure he didn't plan on going out like that, but it sounds <laughs> like the. <laughs> Nobody wants to go out like that. Nobody wants to go out like that. Damn, y'all got me by the buffet table. Fuck. All right. Mm. Can uh, I finish my I wings? Stop. Yo, imagine he's getting taken out in handcuffs. The bus just... is right there. Fine, I'll leave. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I'm sure he didn't plan on going out like that, but the higher-ups caught wind of his arrest and took action. Um, The, the DOCs of Baton Rouge spokesman Dan Bourne and Michael... Um, Cam, Cam, you, Cam, you, whatever, was arrested on early Thursday in Washington, D.C., where he was with students from Holy Family Catholic School, a K through eight school in Port Allen. Um, the reports say that he was um, arrested at a Archibald's Gentleman's Club regarding a complaint about an intoxicated man refusing to pay his bill. Was he the intoxicated man? Yeah, he was intoxicated and he refused to pay his bill. How do you get lit on a field trip? Teachers don't get paid schools? enough. Let's be fair. <laughs> Let's be fair. I've been on both sides of the spectrum. As a student and as a teacher. These teachers is wild. <laughs> Listen, these teachers is wild. I work in education. So exactly. And so just, you know. <laughs> I would like to go to the strip club every now and again, but I don't get paid enough. So I understand. You in there making it rain Lincolns, and we ain't talking fives. Talk about brown coins. <laughs> Throwing a stack of hay pennies at chicks. Hay pennies? Throwing hay pennies at a chick, and Ching, you know they talk about yo. Oh, please, Jack. <laughs> it's funny every time, and you know it's just that you gotta get you gotta get escorted out. <laughs> You're getting too crazy, and now your bills mad high because the chicken wings mad expensive. You thought it'd be five or seventeen. Now you don't know what to do. Chicken wings. What we're gonna have to take the? a we're gonna have to take a field trip, a podcast field trip to. That's gonna have to happen to the to the strip club, and we're gonna have to come back and report to you guys. Yeah, because I don't know about that. That's a different world. I'm sorry. Yeah, um, I love that show. Chill. A don't, different world. Don't, why do you gotta say that in the same? Is that what you be putting on? Nah, is please it, don't. Is it on Netflix? Don't still? don't do that. Tell me. I gotta do that. some investigative journalism. Jesus. So while I'll check back. Dude, I'll check. I'll we'll check we'll back, back in with you next week. Because with that being said, we, oh, nice we, we are running out of time. So, guys, any last words, anything you've learned this week? I've learned to just enjoy all the moments that you have. After this episode, that's yeah. what you learned. Yes. Well, uh, all, the, all this week and everything that's going on. Yeah. Enjoy all the moments you got. We, we It's the first, well, it's the first week of June, officially. Mm-hmm. Summer's around the corner. It's going to be lit. Make memories. I just like what I see on my timeline. Motherfucker. <laughs> Motherfucker. I learned that the Boston Crab is a dangerous move. It needs to be banned. It needs to be banned. States. Every state. And a cog in putting the Boston Crab by a bitch singing Tony Ayo is fucking With my nuts. my hands up. <laughs> Can you put your hands she's up? She's doing it again. All right. While she's doing that, we'll see you niggas next week. We out of here. That's 47. Watch out for that Boston Crab.